I don't know if I'm supposed to. Okay, sorry. Oh, we have to turn the light. Uh, you don't usually hear too much about set design uh, at film festivals and things like this. Um, this project is extremely unique in that um, one crazy kid um, designed all the sets, the whole space station, all the bunkers, and the mortars, and cannons, and everything, and uh, sometimes by himself and sometimes um, with a couple friends, built it all to uh, also. And that was also the writer, director, and cinematographer, Will, which is insane. So give it up for Will. Um, and then one more thing. Um, the weather was, was kind of crazy out in San Inez Valley where, where this movie was shot. And um, we were shooting in the middle of the night at times. And it was damn near 40 degrees. And it was... Um, it was mostly during the scenes when Gunner was wearing the space shorts, and uh, you would never know because his performance is phenomenal, but you know, during the in-between takes, we had a little uh, space heater set up, and everyone else on set, you know, we had huge jackets and everything, but Gunner never let it show on his performance. That's a testament to what a great actor he is. So let's hear it for Gunner. Um, one last thing before you question and answer. Um, unfortunately, the band is in Europe right now. They just played Angels and Airways, the band who produced the film, scored the film. Um, they're, uh, they're, they just played in Manchester last night, and um, they're super excited to be a part of this film festival. They really wish they could be here and see it on the big screen for the first time with all of you. Um, they're actually flying into town on Saturday. They're going to be around. Um, if anybody's going to go to any of the other screenings or be around at any of the parties, hopefully you can come and um, talk to them about the movie. So, um, I don't know if we just do questions or... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll start it off. Cool. Um, now, now uh, actually this question is for you, Mark. I was wondering, um, how did Angels and Airways become a part of this? I know about their album and everything, but like, how did they become a part of it? Well, um... The, uh, the band, I don't, do you want to? Okay. <laughs> the band, um, I think the band just wanted to do something really creative visually to kind of be a, um, a companion piece for their album. And they got in touch with Will. They heard Will was working at Panavision, um, and they saw some of his work and were completely blown away. And they just met him in an attempt to, to make something that wasn't even going to be a feature um, narrative in the beginning. It was going to be sort of a series of short films, right? Yeah. Music videos. We were going to do ten music videos, and then it kind of just blew out of proportion. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Um, but yeah, they, they just approached me and, and, uh, and wanted to do something creative. So. Okay, now, Will, um, what were your influences? Because towards the end there, you can see a lot of, like, uh, uh, 2001, um, Space Odyssey, Stanley Kubrick. Do you have any other influences from this? Uh, I mean, yeah, we all, like, in this sci-fi genre, we all have, like, sort of the same master films that we love, you know, and so I can only sort of hope to even imitate some of it, you know what I mean? But uh, I'm a big fan of, like, Carl Sagan and a lot of astronomers and stuff, and I just like sort of philosophies and what's going on in the world, so. Spoosh. <laughs> now, um, Lee, um, this question's for you. Oh, Gunner. Okay, so. Oh, okay, man. How did that happen? That, that, your name came up as for Lee. For four years, thing. I was Lee, so. So, how did you uh, prepare for a role like this? Because most actors have somebody to act with, and you had to go through this all. You saw four years of acting class right there on uh, not even a movie. You know. Uh, it's so funny. I, this is the first time I've seen the film, to be honest with you. So I'm actually viewing it with uh, with you guys, and uh, um, in a lot of ways, it kind of was um, on the job training as a as an actor because you know I, I've done since the first beginning of uh, of this film, I've done some pretty big projects, but small roles. And I'll tell you, as an actor, I don't know if there's any actors in the room tonight, but as you can imagine, it's like when you're doing a scene with two lines and you're in and out. It's a day player. It's one thing, but when you're trying to create an arc as a lead character. And then, uh, obviously, working with this maniac here. Uh, it's a whole different process. But it was magic. Um, and there was so many scenes that, like I said, I haven't seen this film. So it was so many scenes. I'm looking at those moments where, literally, I remember it was me and Will at one time. And it was like just hours in this one little box. 
and it was like two kids in a sandbox that were nine years old, and we were just playing. I, it was like, it was, time stood still. No one bothered us. There was no executive producer. It was just he and I, and it was like we were just exploring. And sometimes, after a while, it was almost like Will would just take and like put the script away, and it would just be like, I don't know if it translated on screen, but I can remember just it would be like there was no wrong answer. There was no parameters, and it was like just play. And I don't think there'll ever be another experience, I don't care even if I'm producing a film, that will have that little bit of moment uh, filmmaking again. Okay. Um, now, Will, I um, was wondering, um, with your long shots and the bright lights, um, did you, do you feel like you pervade what you wanted to purvey um, of being alone? Um, is that what you were going for with those shots? Sorry, which ones? Um, the long shots that you have of the, um, through the space station and far away with... Um... Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, shots are really just like a piece. I mean, it's really him who does it more so than me. I just try to compliment whatever he's doing. And, you know, we had a lot of uh, times where he would maybe have to run to L.A. to do something and we would just kind of be left sitting with the space station and a camera. And so we would just sort of put things together. <laughs> <laughs> Now, why didn't you want to um, go into the storyline of what was going on on Earth? Why didn't you want to do a little side thing on that? Um, you know, that's a really tricky situation. I mean, the, the film's like a half million dollar budget. So, you know, when you're trying to sort of sit back and decide, like, you know, what storylines to follow, you kind of have to commit to something. And so in our situation, it was like, to try to go down that road was something that I felt like if we were just with him and he was unsure, then we should be unsure as well. And then also not have to deal with like creating like multi-million dollar things that would possibly do it justice to what could be happening on Earth or something. And what was the idea of starting with the Civil War? Why did you choose that time? I think the Civil War, especially like in, in our history, is like a, a, an awesome, like, time of, of chaos where brothers are fighting brothers and family members are fighting family members and it kind of is a, a good metaphor for just sort of the struggles that we as uh, human beings deal with here when there's so much more and greater things to look for but like it's a it's a great great metaphor for just sort of the human struggle I think like brothers fighting brothers and stuff. Okay. Um, at this point we'd like to open it up to the audience if there's anybody out there with a question please raise your hand. No one come on. There's one right there. Uh, can you just describe what it was like having to build the set? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a very, very long process. Like, I remember talking to Mark, and we had shot some things like in a, a set rental that we had gotten in LA, and it cost us like it was insane. It was, it was, it was like most of our budget to rent this thing for five days, and we tried to shoot some stuff, and it was just terrible. It was like the worst experience ever. So I went to Mark. I was like, dude, I think we need to like get a space to build this in and then have as much time as we need to build a, a proper story. So I was like, why don't you just come up to our house? Like, we can like build some little fake things. And <laughs> we'd like, I think we'd build for like maybe three hours and listen to Dodger games and then we'd go sit in the pool and just be like. <laughs> so we would, we would literally like just build like a piece of plywood with like little uh, squares on it. And we're like, hmm, that looks like something that could go behind him in a scene, you know? And then, uh, I, I don't know, it just started to spiral out of control. We'd build one thing and we'd be like, you know, we should really look at pictures for this. So we'd like go look at pictures and then we'd be like, eh, maybe we could build that. And, then, and basically, uh, four months went by all of a sudden and we had like structures. And then another three months went by and we had more structures and then all of a sudden, it was like, oh my God, we're getting into a rainy season and trying to protect it. Like, it turned into a total nightmare. I used to wake up at three in the morning and like hear the pitter patter of rain and just be like, oh my God. And I'd get up, put on a raincoat, and I'd like go outside and I would climb up on top of the set and start pushing water off of it all night to keep rain from getting in on the set. So there is a reason for sound stages I discovered. Um, <laughs> but in the end, about a year and a half later, we had something that was detailed enough and, and structured enough like the ISS that. Uh, we could shoot in it. So it was a really long, arduous process and a lot of pieces. Like, I would just, it was, because we were doing it on the cheap, I think I spent probably, I don't even know, it was like $30,000 at Home Depot 
I kept trying to get them to like sponsor the film. I'd go there and be like, no, no, I don't need like a construction license. I need like a sponsorship. <laughs> and I'd show them like pictures and stuff at the space station. They'd just be like, what, what, what is this? But uh, anyways, it was, it was a long process. <laughs> Any other questions?